Here we are guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bassman. Hello. Great to be out with you guys today. Happy Easter. It's Easter Sunday. I am Billy No Mates. Uh, Cheeky's working, double shifts, bank holiday. Uh, we've seen the family yesterday, so we were having a lovely roast dinner yesterday, a nice bit of lamb. Did you fart then? <laughs> I thought so. And yes, yeah, so I've got no friends today. So I'm on my own. I'm, I was bored. I was out last night with Wingman on the on North Corner Pier. It was pretty average. So yes, welcome along, guys. I am rolling. So I've got the two big rods today. I've got some live peeler. I've got some frozen mackerel and stuff. So I'm going to flick one out for a hus and stick one out for a ray and just see what happens. But yes, welcome along, guys. It is Easter Sunday, and I am out. I am feeling good. I've got coffee in there. I am going to be buzzing. So yes, let's go fishing, guys. Yes, Sunday, Easter. Here we are. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Filthy, filthy hobbits. Yes, the stumpy steps. Yippee, no ferry. Not the best start. This uh, heavy elastic was right across here. It's everywhere. Up on the rocks. Up here, look. And this is what happens when you drop your elastic in, in nature. Look at this. Bloody spider web all over here. So yeah, well done for leaving your cotton behind. Look what it's done, look. It's caught everything. And it's really thick. Fisherman, bloody fisherman. Yeah, I'm cleaning it. I'm a good, I'm a good fisherman. So this is elastic, it's not line, but it's just as bad. Look at it. All right, nice selection of bait. I've got some, uh, some small, Pilchards, I've got some mackerel, I've got more frozen mackerel in there. And I've got some small cuttlefish that need using up. So I might use that instead of squid. Squid and mackerel for a nice hus. And then I've just got a, a few crab there, look, live crab. So that'll be going out and I'm using pulley rigs today on the, for the distance. Yes. So I've just grabbed off the shelf today, I've got some, uh, some nice big pulley rigs there with wire trace and decent sized hooks. And on the contrary, I've got a, a nice pulley rig there off the shelf. I'm gonna sling that out. That's got 80 pound all the way through, just in case. All right, here we are. This one's popped already, his shell's popped. I'm going to start with a small bait and get it go go bigger and bigger. Okay. There you go. It's a nice small bait for starters. All right, there we are. I've just uh, 
I've just bulked it up with another half a crab there because it was a bit small looking and just put a claw on the end. Right, let's get that one out, man. All right, here we are, all clipped in, look, ready to go on my nice long pulley rig. Nice long one there, 80 pound rig body and hook length, just in case, Mr. Huss. Right, nice little hus bait on this um, rig. Right, so I've got these little um, cuttlefish instead of squid today. So I'm going to use those. So I've just cut one in half, look, just literally sliced it in half. So you can put the mackerel on either that way or that way. So because the head's that end, I'm going to put it on that way. Like that. There you go. One smelly big pus bait. Just know it's mega slack line. There we are, nice big bait, big bait, big fish, baby. There we are guys, two rods in, both fishing. So it's not as rough as I hoped it would be, but I think it's rough enough to throw something up, something a bit special. Yes, can be Easter and you know, Easter and Christmas can be a very lonely time if you're on your own. So just get yourself out there, you know, get out, get away from the TV. Take a rod out, go fishing for a few hours. You know, it's really good for your mental health. And you'll forget about being alone. You'll be out enjoying all the nature, the birds and all the, you know, the, the moving waves and everything. I just love it. You know, it's better than sitting at home and watching buddy YouTube or Netflix for me anyway. So yes, yeah, so I'm out here guys for you today. Happy Easter. And let's hope we get a few fish, eh? Right guys, I've just um, given my crabs a drink because they're very thirsty, they're very dry. So I'm giving them a drink, so I'm all settled in now. And it's time I had a drink of coffee. Yes, I have a flask. Cheers guys and girls, happy Easter. Yes guys, so what I like about this spot is it's nice and smooth out there. So it's like mud on the bottom, just a nice clean mud. And it's not that deep really, 40 foot maybe. So yeah, you know, I haven't lost any gear yet, but we're very early in the tide. Just see what happens. We're out, it's a Sunday. Everyone's at home getting their, eat, eating rubbish and eating chocolate and drinking too much. But I can do that tonight. Dartmouth Castle, simply lovely. Caught my first ever bass here when I was 17, just, just down there, 30 yards out. Yes, it was all of six ounces. Right, the tide is just starting to push a little bit now. Just coming up on the bottom slip step there, look, on the slab. Plenty of time. 
as the river cruise just came out and turned straight back round again. Just had a bite on the left hand rod. On the crab bait, there it goes. Well, I just lost a set of gear out there, the crab, crab bait. Yeah, a bit gutted about that, just pulled into a snag. I had a few bites before it though, so I don't know what happened there. So I've gone with a cuttlefish and mackerel wrap. So a bit smaller. But that looks really nice. And I've changed over to a multiplier on the uh, Continental. So there's the big rig just come back in uh, after about half an hour, look, done. Just the string left. Done. Stepping up the game. Cuttlefish and mackerel. Come on. Mr. Seal. Small seal. Damn it. Yeah, baits are coming back stripped. That's the cuttlefish, the only thing that's left. That's why I'm using it, because it's a bit tougher. I cannot do any better than that, guys. That's a pilchard and cuttlefish. You know, a beautiful bait. There's so much crab out there or something. That is beautiful. Right, so yes, yeah, so I've changed tactics now. I've got one out of range. So a smaller mackerel and cuttlefish bait on the right hand rod. And I've got the bigger bait on the left hand rod, about 40, 50 yards possibly. So I'm, I'm hedging, hedging my bets here. And I reckon I've just swapped over these rods. I reckon the huss have got to follow around that rock and come in. So I've, I've uh, cast over more straight now. See if they're out there. Huh. Another quick turnaround. And that one's come back in too. Right, that was 15 minutes that time. Gone. Go big or go home. That's my motto. Yes, mate. Another bloody seal. So this is the second gentleman that's come to visit me today. The first one saw my green hat from up there, it's a bit of a giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't miss the car back and up on the road. I need to see my car in the video. I was like, well, I know who I'm walking into now. Yeah, nice I'm to meet you, mate. Yeah, no, nice to meet you. Yeah. Jez. Jez, happy Easter, bud. Cheers, buddy. Have yeah. a good one. Cheers, mate. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, and here comes the bloody rain again. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, I have only got that bait left. So I'm going to stay and use it all. I've got crab as well, but uh, yeah, I'm running out of bait. I'm using so much bait and I'm not getting any bites. Just crabbed off. Right. <clears throat> Whilst you're all tucking into your nice dinners, your nice Easter dinner, whatever it may be, a nice, I don't know, bird or a bit of beef, I am going for the Michelin star home smoked self caught yes that is right in there is smoked mullet mixed with mayonnaise and some red onion and silver skin onions nice sweet touch here we go second attempt smoked mullet there's my last smoked mullet fillet and a, a bit of roe left as well smoke the roe as well I'm going fishing today and I am going to make myself smoked mullet mayo sandwiches. 
Mm, there it is, nice and smoky. Similar to smoked mackerel, really. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. There you go, a bit of red onion and a bit of uh, silver skin sweet onions, just to cut through that, you know, rich smoked fish. Smoked mullet, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Smoked mullet. Unbelievably tasty. Really nice. Stronger than smoked mackerel because I've double smoked this one. All right, well this one's come back after 15 minutes and it's still good. So maybe the predators have turned up. Pretty rough. Pretty rough, but no fish. Where's the fish? You will not beat me, Weather. You will not beat me. Ha ha ha. Yeah, baby. Ha ha ha. Well, there ain't much room, but it's dry. Got to really strain to see the rods. Do you know, I thought I was going to get away with it today. I thought it was just going to be dry for once. No. Oh, well. April showers next month. Well, I'm under the umbrella just having a last coffee. I'm just praying those reels scream off. I had a run about 10 minutes ago on the left hand rod, but nothing came of it. Just a couple of runs off the reel. But uh, yeah, it is miserable here, guys. Um, not got much bait left. I've still got a bit of hope. I've not given up. It's now half past seven at night. The tide's coming up. Yeah. Not nice, not nice. Still time. There's got to be one, just one rogue pus out there with my name on it. Oh. Right, I've, uh, I've moved the brolly up to the top step. Uh, it's just um, coming up to eight o'clock now. Just nothing happening. Just nothing happening. I deserve a fish. Being out in this weather. Come on, just one. I am getting quite soggy. I'm. Uh, the water's dripped down my back and, oh yeah, my arse is wet. Anyway, hey ho. Come on, it's just starting to get dark now. And it hasn't stopped raining for two hours now. Looking pretty gloomy over in Dartmouth on the, on the front there. Well, guys and girls, I've stared at these rods for over five hours now. And uh, yeah, just about at the top of the tide nearly. Oh, I had such good hopes. Well, it definitely helped. <laughs> yes, the golfing umbrella. It definitely helped, but oops. Needs a bit of fine tuning, I think, on the uh, strapping him up. Well, there we are, guys. That's it from me tonight from the Stumpy Steps. Oh, my goodness. What a miserable session. 
Anyway, happy Easter, guys. It's a uh, Benny Blanco, I think. I'm still here. I'm still toughing it out. It's just about stopped raining for a minute. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Please hit the like button, share the love. Leave me a comment. I deserve one. Happy Easter, guys and girls. I'll be back. Tight lines. It's all your fault. Call yourself a luck dragon. <laughs>